what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Designated Fragrances. I'm Dez. Welcome back to the channel, man. So, these last couple of weeks, I have been extremely busy. The semester just ended yesterday, so, you know, I had to get my finals out of the way. Kind of had to take a break from YouTube. I know I just kind of started, but, you know, hey, I got to do what I got to do. So, the semester finally over, man. You know, I'm a free man, so... It's time to get back to what we love, you know what I'm saying? And that's smelling fragrances. You know, this whole winter break, we just gonna be rolling them out, man. I got some new stuff. I got some stuff that maybe, that a lot of people are not reviewing on YouTube. So I'm excited to um, show some of that stuff off. Also, somebody in my comment section told me I need to get a better mic. So I realized that my mic, well, okay, so I got it right here right now. So hopefully it's not making too much noise, but I usually wear my mic like down here somewhere. Cause I didn't think it was like looking nice in the shot, but I'm gonna try this out today. We're gonna see if it's if it sound better quality with the mic up here. I know it look ugly, but hey, man, I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, man. So first, how y'all been? You been good? Hey, man. Thank you to all the people who have been subscribing. When I first started, I started out with zero subscribers, and now I have either 87 or 85 subscribers. When I got my first 10, I was like, yo, this is dope. But to come and look at my channel every day and to see you know plus two subscribers plus three subscribers plus five subscribers like it just it mean a lot and those little achievements kind of motivate me to keep going you know what i'm saying so and to the people who are actively commenting on my videos thank you man i really appreciate it i try to be as involved with a lot of y'all as i can so without further ado first off check the hat you know what i'm saying peep it yeah I don't care if we lost to Alabama, okay? I'm gonna show y'all what loyalty look like, okay? All right, back off, all right? Cause guess who's still in the final four? <laughs> Checking. Don't play with me. So, today's video, I have had this fragrance for a while. I've gotten a lot of positive attention as of recently, but when I first got it, I didn't really get that much positive feedback on it. I really didn't get any feedback on it at all, to be honest, and I was like, actively trying to get feedback from this like you know i'd wear it out on like you know hanging out with friends and you know in like close spaces and to me this is a pretty loud fragrance so in the past like three weeks i've gotten i've gotten some some good compliments on it so the fragrance that i'm talking about today you probably don't have it maybe you do um it's by a small independent house by the name of happy land fragrances the fragrance i'm talking about today is paisley sky by Happy Land Fragrances. I don't know if you can get a close up on it. So, some of the notes that it mentioned was oud, ylang ylang, myrrh, patchouli, lavender, you know, kind of based around those, right? Now, this is a very, this fragrance is kind of, it's different. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see a lot of guys pulling this off, or I wouldn't say that. I would say, I don't think a lot of guys would think that they can pull this off. You gotta kind of be a little, you gotta like to, you know, mix in a little bit, you know? <laughs> no, but it kinda, it may or may not lean a little bit feminine or unisex in my opinion. I like that though. For some reason when I smell it, I just think of like a basket of like blueberries and like strawberries. And it doesn't necessarily give that type of scent. Like it doesn't smell like strawberries or blueberries. But for some reason, I think of like a basket of like blackberries, raspberries, blueberries like for some reason i just get this berry type mix when i first wore it out i noticed that the opening is very unpleasant in my opinion i did not like the opening my brother he loves the opening but in my opinion i do not like the opening it kind of grew on me a little bit but i really still don't like the opening as much as i like the dry down when it comes to the dry down though that's when i started to get that berry type smell and I don't know why, because they don't have a berry note in here, but for some reason, that's the thing that pops in my mind, so. And if you've tried this, let me know if you feel the same way. I think I may have heard one YouTuber say that they kind of get that same type of feel out of it, but, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to sell to y'all that it's, you know, this berry type, you know, fragrance when it's really not, um, in your experience. From my perspective, that's, that's how I've experienced it. The dry down is one of my most favorite dry downs that I've smelled so far out of all my fragrances. And then, like I said, it, it does kind of lean a little unisex, but I feel like if you have a very, 
outgoing personality, I feel like this fits you perfectly. Because one, this is a conversation starter. And I think because it's unisex, it is um, pretty mass appealing. It's a nice fragrance. Like I said, it has more of a, like this outgoing, this fluffiness about it. Like, like I said, it's not masculine at all, in my opinion. I've worn this more in like social occasions. And I've also worn this to class just because, like I said, it got to a point where I was trying to, I was fishing for feedback. Not necessarily fishing for compliments. I just wanted somebody to tell me like, is this good or is this not really it? You know, I went down to the office the other day and this is, I got to the point where I was like, you know, I'm done fishing for, you know, any type of feedback. I'm just gonna wear it when I wanna wear it and not think too much about it. So I went down to the office um, just to print out some stuff. And the minute I stepped in, this girl was like, oh my gosh, you smell really good. And I was like, thank you. And then from there, I got another compliments two days later. And then that next week I got maybe two compliments. Um, if you haven't tried this out, I would say, if you're a guy, sample it first. Now I can say on a scale of one to 10, I think this is a nine and a half. Like I love this thing besides the dry down. And that's why I give it like a nine and a half. I ain't gonna give it a perfect 10 because I I almost hate the dry down. I would probably actually give it a nine out of 10. But the dry down is crazy, it's phenomenal. I love it. I've put a decent amount of dent in it. So been wearing this pretty much a lot. I probably don't wear it as much as I need to um, based on how much I love it. But even off the nozzle, I don't, it doesn't smell good to me. But as soon as it starts to dry down, it gets this almost this warm type feeling. It's not necessarily like a fall or a winter type scent, but it has this kind of warm effect to it that kind of reminds me of like a blueberry pie or something like that. I would probably recommend sampling this first just because I, when I first sprayed it on, like I said, I don't like the opening. I thought I wasted my money because I was like, like I thought the dry down was terrible. But you know, I let it sit on, you know, for, five, 15 minutes and then I started really enjoy it. But yeah, if you have this fragrance or even if you know about this house, comment some stuff down below. What should I try out from this house? Like I said, I love Paisley Scott. This is the only thing I own from this house, but I'm willing to get my nose on anything out of that house. I know I want to try um, El Gudo. I want to try, I think it's called Happy Land Signature. Yeah, man. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe. Also comment down below. Let me know what should I try from this house. Also, I've been... I've been getting into like shower products and man, let me tell y'all, <laughs> you want a cheat code, bruh? If you want to smell good at the house without spraying on your cologne, stay tuned for these next couple of videos because I got some stuff that I want to tell y'all about. And when I tell you it's a cheat code, I'm telling you that your lady, she's going to be really happy that you get into what I'm going to bring to y'all. So, oh man, dang, I lost my cap. <laughs> no cap. No cap. Uh -huh. ah. Thank you for watching if you made it to the end. I know this was kind of a long video, so I apologize. But hey, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I want to I wanna be our friend. I want to spend some quality time with y'all. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, hope you had a good day. Peace out.